going to my question because I mean yeah. some women in the, in the industry have said oh this is an open secret right but in this case you said you were stunned I was stunned you yeah. hadn't heard that no uh, I heard so a year ago I was doing a, a podcast with yeah. David Axelrod and a man in the audience asked me about it um, but in the context of that and I hadn't heard yeah. at that point of any of it so I was you know he said, what do you think about this allegations against Louis C.K.? And my first response was, what? And yeah. then joke, joke, and as he kept going, I was like, look, I know this is very serious, but I know Louis. Uh, he's always been a gentleman, you know, uh, to me, which, again, it speaks to the blindness that I think a man has, which is like, hey, he's a good guy. What are you talking about? Um, digging around in it and finding that some people had done it was hard, but we were all assured, like, no. But we took somebody's word for it. And maybe that's, that's an error on our part. You know, with drugs, we've tried interventions, and maybe that's something that I, I just don't, I, you Have know. Have you talked to Louis C.K.? No, I haven't. Yeah. It's, I haven't it's a reckoning, I mean, in our culture. And I oh. you know, appreciate and yeah, your I time and thoughtfulness about it. No, I, listen, I. You know, it's one of those things, it's another one of those endemic, systemic, complex problems that, you know, we all haven't had the urgency for, and certainly myself included, it's, I, I hope it changes. Let's leave it at that. Guys, good luck this weekend Thank for you. a Thank great you so cause. Much. Michelle, nice to see you. Say hi to Robert. It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's a good cause. It's good. Night. Night at Too Many Stars live Saturday night on HBO. Thank you so much. Let's Thank head you so back much. to Al in Texas for a check of the web. Today's weather is brought to you by Wonder in theaters this Friday. And catch a special look tonight during The Voice. So good morning, everybody. Thanks for being here. We are in Spring, Texas right now at the Trinity Klein Lutheran Church. And we're about to help. They were, I mean, I got to tell you, this area has, was just devastated by Harvey. Yes. You all went through a lot. Yes. Well, we are here to lend a hand, uh, again, with these fine folks at, uh, at Trinity Lutheran, uh, Trinity Klein Lutheran Church. And we're about to do that in just a little bit, helping all you folks. We got some great folks here to help you out. But first, let's help you out with your weather, show you what we have going on for today. Well, you know, Houston really was devastated by this, this storm. And in 19, 19 once every hundred years you would get a storm like this according to MIT well guess what with a climate change coming now today once every 16 years you've got a chance of getting flooding like this and as we go forward to 2090 it could be once every five and a half years you could have a Harvey like Texas event so uh, this this is not going to be one of these rare things it's going to become more and more prevalent as we go on. Well, as you look at your weather for today, we are looking at more strong storms and we're going to be looking at some wet weather uh, as you make your way into the Pacific Northwest. A foggy start in the midsection of the country, heavy rain down in southern Florida, plenty of sunshine from the northeast down into the Gulf Coast, record highs in central and northern Texas. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Good morning, everybody. Still off to a bit of a cloudy sky here in Washington this morning on the chilly side as well, mostly in the 40s now, low to mid 40s across the area. It'll turn into a sunnier afternoon today and temperatures climbing up into the low and perhaps even into the mid 50s ever so briefly. And then for tomorrow, another dry day with temperatures in the mid 50s. Warmer on Thursday after a few showers early Thursday morning. Rain on Saturday and colder weather coming our way next week. That's your latest weather, guys. Coming up in the next half hour, we are going to help the folks here in Spring, Texas by lending a hand. We'll see you then. All right, Al. Great job all right. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what's trending today. Look who's here, Jennifer Schneider. Yeah, we missed you, Hi, guys. Trending on Twitter, by the way, LeBron, add pickle to anything. And fashion tonight, Carson's going to talk about that in Pop Star. November 14th, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Christmas is still a long way away. Mm -hmm. We have the tree there right. on the scaffolding. <laughs> We're going to light that thing on November 29th. Yeah. Oh. However, social media, if you've been checking it, it's lighting up. Users are sharing photos oh, of their wow. already decked wow. out oh. halls. Wow. People taking pride in their beautiful trees and decorations galore.